Did you walk past a freaky killer today? Maybe it was in the carriage of a packed commuter train, maybe a brushed shoulder in the refrigerated aisle of the supermarket. You probably didn't. But maybe? They could be anywhere or nowhere and you'd never even know. Until they started murdering you, that is. Clandestine killers have long been a grisly obsession for movie directors and cinemagoers alike. Here we will look at the top 10 best rated freaky killer movies. Before, please like and share the video, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell icon for more updates. Number 10. Arsenic and Old Lace. Director. Frank Capra. Release date. September 1, 1944. In the story of Arsenic and Old Lace, writer and notorious marriage detractor Mortimer Brewster falls for girl next door Elaine Harper, and they tie the knot on Halloween. When the newlyweds return to their respective family homes to deliver the news, Brewster finds a corpse hidden in a window seat. With his eccentric aunts, disturbed uncle, and homicidal brother, he starts to realize that his family is even crazier than he thought. Hey, mister. Number 9. Super Sleuth. Director. Benjamin Stoloff. Release date. July 16, 1937. In the story of Super Sleuth, self-absorbed actor Bill Martin plays detectives on screen so often that he has fooled himself into believing he can fill the same role in real life. When a series of celebrity murders perplexes the police, Bill announces that he can easily solve the crimes. As the clueless sleuth investigates, he draws the ire of the case's real detectives, as well as the consternation of his long-suffering publicist, Mary Strand, and the unwanted attentions of the actual killer. I'm sorry again, Miss Dwayne, but I've been on my feet all day. <laughs> That's all right, Lieutenant. The change will do you good. Are you comfortable, boy? Oh, oh sweet. Yeah. Have a nice time. Number 8. Sagaparo Jackal. Director. Barthirja. Release date. October 10, 1978. In the story of Sagaparo Jackal, Dilip is a successful businessman with a dark side. He preys on nubal girls and assaults and kills them. These proceedings are video recorded and watched by his adoptive father and mentor. He meets Sarada and is attracted to her. She wants to marry him to have his way. Later she finds a diary containing details of his deranged life and, and names of the girls he had killed scribbled on the walls of one of the rooms in his large house. Number 7. The Shark Net. Director. Graham Buffett. Release date. August 2003. In the story of The Shark Net, a compelling, three-part series taken from Robert Drew's memoir about his early life growing up during the reign of one of Australia's most notorious serial killers. This is the story of one boy's journey to manhood going from childhood games, to teenage lust, and to adult sex. From secrets and lies to fear and evil. From family ties that bind forever, 
to guilt that lasts a lifetime. And for the need to forgive. This is The Shark Net, a compelling, three-part series taken from Robert Drew's award-winning memoir about his early life growing up during the reign of one of Australia's most notorious serial killers. The lady lifted it. You better not have been doing it in my car! You'll be sorry. We were both here. Number 6. The Night of the Hunter. Director. Charles Lawton. Release date. July 26, 1955. In the story of the Night of the Hunter, the Rev, Harry Powell, is a religious fanatic and serial killer who targets women who use their sexuality to attract men. Serving time in prison for car theft, he meets condemned murderer Ben Harper, who confesses to hiding $10,000 in stolen loot. Released from jail, Powell is obsessed with finding the money, and he tracks down Harper's widow, Willa, and her two children, John and Pearl. and suspense, the heart-pounding warmth of the best-selling novel that gripped millions. Come on, wake up. Come on, come on. Superb, unforgettable performances by an extraordinary array of talent. Figured I was gone. Run, hide in the staircase. Run quick. Number five. Selin Yui Chuk. Director. Bong Joon-ho. Release date. April 25, 2003. In the story of Selin Chuk, in 1986, Park and Cho are two simple-minded detectives assigned to a double murder investigation in a South Korean province. But when the murderer strikes several more times with the same pattern, the detectives realize that they are chasing the country's first documented serial killer. Relying on only their basic skills and tools, Park and Joe attempt to piece together the clues and solve the case in this thriller based on true events. Number 4. Am Einstadt Sucked Einen Mortar. Director. Fritz Lang. Release date. June 6, 1996. In the story of Am Einstadt Sucked Einen Mortar, in this classic German thriller, Hans Beckert, a serial killer who preys on children, becomes the focus of a massive Berlin police manhunt. Beckert's heinous crimes are so repellent and disruptive to city life that he is even targeted by others in the seedy underworld network. With both cops and criminals in pursuit, the murderer soon realizes that people are on his trail, sending him into a tense, panicked attempt to escape justice. The handlung of this einzigartigen criminal is von atemberaubender explosivität. Spannungsgeladen von Anfang bis Ende. Number 3. Codex on Sermán Luosha. Director. Miko Niskanen. Release date. September 15, 1972. In the story of Kod Exxon Sermán Luosha, Pazi, a small farmer from central Finland, tries to support his family in scarce conditions by doing mixed work, but instead falls into cooking booze with his friend Reiska and becomes an alcoholic. Miten niin? No miten niin, on niin vaikea matka. 
Number 2. Psycho. Director. Alfred Hitchcock. Release date. September 8, 1960. In the story of Psycho, Phoenix secretary Marion Crane, on the lam after stealing $40,000 from her employer in order to run away with her boyfriend, Sam Loomis, is overcome by exhaustion during a heavy rainstorm. Traveling on the back roads to avoid the police, she stops for the night at the Ramshackle Bates Motel and meets the polite but highly strung proprietor Norman Bates, a young man with an interest in taxidermy and a difficult relationship with his mother. When in fact, it has now become known as the scene of the crime. This motel also has, as an adjunct, an old house, which is, if I may say so, a little more sinister looking, less innocent than the motel. Number one, The Silence of the Lambs. Director, Jonathan Dam. Release date, February 14, 1991. In the story of The Silence of the Lambs, Jodie Foster stars as Clarice Starling, a top student at the FBI's training academy. Jack Crawford wants Clarice to interview Dr. Hannibal Lecter, a brilliant psychiatrist who is also a violent psychopath, serving life behind bars for various acts of murder and cannibalism. Crawford believes that Lecter may have insight into a case and that Starling, as an attractive young woman, may be just the bait to draw him out. He'll never stop. But in order to track him down, she'll have to match wits. I'll help you catch him, Clary. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. With the darkest of all minds. Just do your job and never forget what he is. But he's a monster. Pure psychopath. So rare to capture one alive. So close to the Please don't wait to ask in your comments section if you have any other queries. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Please like and share the video, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell icon for more updates.